This thing called life. Helen Keller had a point. Life is short and unpredictable. Eat the dessert first. Bet on you. Tomorrow's not promised if we don't know anything else. I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting and giving up. Somebody who has been praying for years for things to turn around. And they're asking God, they're questioning God. Where is it? What, when, when, where? Send me a sign, send me a burning bush, send me something to confirm that my hopes and my dreams and things that I want to accomplish are going to actually happen. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. This is for you. leave here doing something that's not you. Take a chance on you. Give yourself a chance. Shoot for the moon even if you miss your land among the stars. Keep the faith. Faith that has never been tested can't be trusted. You're still here. There's so much more in you. Simba, you're more than that which you have become. Ignore and outperform them. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you'll realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose, and I will win. So you, you know what I've realized? It's so much easier to quit. It's so much easier to give up when the marriage gets hard, right? We want to quit when the pressure seems like it's crushing us. We want to just get out from under it. And God's saying, but do you not understand that when you're under the pressure, when you're under the weight and the trial seems like it's crushing you, that's when you grow and develop. That's when you become more mature and complete. Don't, don't let your limitations become your standard. Life is going to happen. And you're going to set up a plan and you're going to have a vision and you're going to hope that it's going to turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're going to have to choose your reaction. You have a choice to make. Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? Some of us were tempted. I'll just lay here and it will pass over me. I'm telling you. You will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. I'm talking to you. You're going through a storm right now. And I want you to know, whatever you're going through right now, if you can just muster up enough strength to hold on and hold out. If you do not quit, if you do not give up, it's coming, baby. Hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to finish school. Hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to pass that bar exam. You keep going. You keep studying. You keep writing, you keep singing, you keep rapping, you keep boxing, you keep fighting, you keep dribbling, you just keep on keeping on. And if you persevere, if you persevere, I'm telling you, trouble don't last always. Every storm that's come, it will pass. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. Failure has made me who I am today. Failure gives you 
two choices. You stay down or you get up. Well, I'm up and I am fired up because I have figured it out. And I can stay down or I can get my ass up and I'm in the getting up business. I will never quit because if you quit, you're done. You may still be alive walking around on this earth. You're done. I will never quit. I will persevere and I will thrive on adversity. My team expects me to be physically harder and mentally stronger than our opponents. I hold myself to that standard. I will be physically harder and mentally stronger than anything that comes against me, my family, my business, my brothers, my sisters, my team. I will be the one that is physically harder and mentally stronger and I will work to maintain that position. You won't beat me. See, when you make up your mind, this mind is powerful and I know that you are unstoppable once you make up your mind. So whatever you're pursuing, you gotta get it locked right here in your brain that I'm not gonna stop until I get that degree. I'm not gonna stop until my kids graduate. I'm not gonna stop until I grow this business. I'm not gonna stop until I get there. You see, you don't wanna make a comment, you wanna make statements with conviction. And that's the difference in people who pursue things and get it are those who start and quit. I'm here to tell you, it's not about chasing dreams anymore. We want to talk about catching dreams. And the only way you can catch the dream of your life, you can't quit. Understand that pursuit's going to have setbacks. It's going to have up and downs. But you got to lock in. You got to get your mind right and make statements. You should wake up every morning to make a statement. I will be a lawyer. I will be a doctor. I will rise again. I will overcome bankruptcy. You got to make sure that your mind is made up because when your mind is made up, I understand what you're capable of. When your mind is made up, I understand that you can dominate. All you have to do is make your mind up that no matter what, I will never quit.